Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Choose to Lose campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with less classes, less equipment, uh, less hit points and stronger enemies. And one of those stronger enemies is the Hunter. And I can tell you guys the Hunter is getting on my nerves. No more huntering. Um, we're going to visit him and hit him where it really, really hurts, uh, which is his stronghold, of course. Uh, we're going to fight against the Codex Prime. I think we can uh, deal with that. Elite Officer, Heavy Mech, Elite Lancer, Shield Bearer, Valkyrie, a Boa, and Elite the Sharpshooter. A lot of Advent, um, but none of them should be a real problem. Good. We got the Prime team back in action for once uh, we got quick feet here uh, has mess vest and uh, the combination of rashi and the katana we got words uh, with her uh, hopefully great aim and death from above we got the uh, frost grenade as well we got jessica rabbit uh, with now a finally upgraded sniper rifle she will be the one receiving the chosen rifle we got frodo uh, with some self-healing, healing for others. Oh boy, I almost made a mistake um, because we can't give Frodo an, a medkit if Reckoner has one. Uh, that, of course, will not work. There we go. Uh, it should solve it. Got a flashbang on Frodo. And the medkit is with Reckoner. Frodo has the AoE heal. And, of course, Primus is back in action. Look at that. We almost repaired it completely. Uh, Frodo would have the rage suit, but we don't have a duplicate or a different um, heavy weapon here. And since we do not allow for duplicates, uh, this one here is the only heavy weapon that we're taking with us. In future installments, of course, we're going to have um, hopefully another heavy weapon. So that's the best we can field with the restrictions. It's the A-Team. And if we cannot uh, pull off this mission, then we're in deep trouble because then the run is effectively uh, is effectively going sideways. All right. For some reason, I hit escape too fast. There we go. Let's begin the mission. Good. As Redford correctly said, stay sharp and be ready for everything. What we're really going to try is we're trying to. Today. We're trying to use as little of our consumables as humanly possible, no and uh, we're we're trying to keep so everything for kind of the second uh, phase, which is the fight against the chosen. We want to potentially just let's just move here. Yeah, so it, I'm I'm moving around uh, because sometimes the fog of war is a bit buggy, and you can see through it here up here is the actual room so it's straight to the left so we got to go here and then straight uh, straight towards the left little trick to find out where you need to go Moving to position. good not very surprising we have not um, received any help from an advent on your order closing on target position now I will go good Frodo order takes on the move. some good cover here and boy oh boy everybody has so many hit points now mainly because we're actually trying to maximize the hit points quite a bit Okay, just double checking. It seems that there is a pack over here. Can already foresee that. So, in case you're wondering, it unnaturally shapes here, so it almost screams that needs to be a pack. So we're opening the door. Haha, <laughs> complete shocker. Fantastic. That's a hit. I 
think that's a, another hit. Yep. And that's another hit. So Jessica already hit thrice. Perfect. Primus takes the high ground here. Let's use overdrive. And I think I want to shred the shield bearer. Sensors indicate armor deflection. And we want to shred the Mac. <clears throat> Fantastic. Those were the heaviest targets. Um, how about we're moving in with a full? There we go. That's a solid kill. And that's a potential kill as well. Good, we're moving in. It's not a problem that we're losing our concealment here. Officer dies. Wow, Arashi is so good. Wards moves in. And there we go. Implaceable. To move into position and on the move. Moving to Overwatch. We do have a nice little Overwatch. So far, I'd so like good. To say you're walking into some sort of elaborate trap, but then I'd be lying. To be honest, I never thought anyone would ever walk into this place voluntarily. Uh, I think we're just going to stand here for now. To Auto reloader. Unfortunately, just that's the only thing that is suboptimal with this rifle. The auto reloader is good, but for now. kill zone, Overwatch. the magazine capacity is too small. Good. We're sure waiting four rounds. We're waiting four rounds until the overdrive comes I back this is as good a time as any to start testing the defenses i have to say i'm rooting for you these things aren't the best conversationalists this game was a lot more fun when you followed the rules well if you're not going to play nice oh look at that well it seems like the codex prime Surprised that we're not triggering more overwatch shots. Alright, that's lightning reflexes. Yeah, unfortunately that does not work. Are these guys all elite specters? I should probably start going on. Elite Spectres, yeah. Okay. Okay, so how do we set this one up? Make sure that we're... Give me a minute. That we're not wasting any actions. 
I mean, since it's one of, since it's uh, a prime, could make an argument that we would want to use uh, the frost bomb here. The other option is that we're using the flashbang, which would take away most of uh, the abilities that the prime has. I think we're going for the frost grenade. We still have a second option to freeze. And this year we'll remove three of the threats right away. Like I said, I wanted to use as little of our uh, uh, cooldowns and abilities as possible. That's unfortunately not always possible. Jessica moves up. And let's start dealing with the Spectre first. Moving. Chain shot into hopes of killing it. Oh, that's the wrong Spectre. Hmm. Well, I might say it at least killed it. So that went well. Good, that worked like a charm as well. But we're blocking the second door, which means we're doing a little maneuver back. I was hoping we would destroy the cover, but unfortunately it didn't work as well. Alright, now the cover is gone. And thanks to Rapid Fire, this guy is down. Good, we're moving up. Time to hit that third Spectre. I must say, quite a few hit points, to be honest. I mean, if you think about it, Elite Spectres have, like, what? Uh, 28 hit points? Fire is on cooldown. We are starting with Dead Eye. Fantastic. Crit for 19. That's exactly what I was hoping for. And we're moving slightly over here in the cover. All right, in terms of damage output, I, go. I think that was As respectable. Heading out. Sounds like a job for a turn. Moving to Overwatch. I'm reloading. Fantastic. I will watch. So we're potentially like going to the right hand side. I'm if I was to take a guess, so we wanted to go there. This here looks like a hangar bay. So there is a good chance that we need to go that way. The entrance for the last room is always from uh, the top right side. From this camera angle, so this will be the entrance. Alright, Wurtz moves up. 
Jessica moves up and quick feet can move up as well pretty clustered quick feet uh, reloads it's a good time for uh, overall reload Good. So the most difficult pack has already been defeated. I'm pretty sure there is not a pack that is as difficult as the one that we've just faced. For you are XCOM, and you, you are going to die. Good. Frodo takes a certain position there. Vords takes that side. Jessica. Takes the position down there. Affirmative, moving out. I'm on it. I will not I'm on it. 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 That might as well be the crew in the final room. I often wonder, Commander, if you told them what you saw in the Elder's chamber. Oh, wait a second. The truth of what's to come. Wait a second. So this here is the chamber. Baby home screaming Did I if you just did. misrepresented? Pretty sure down here is the chamber. So this might be a dead end. Because there is indeed a door here. I might have been off by one. Okay, perfect. I'm on it. Pretty sure that's the right entrance. There's an open door. It's time Let's so just I double check if there are any enemies here. Huh, not sure. Unclear. It seems uh, it seems that there is nothing there. But my spider senses still tell me that there is something. Heading out. Right, quick beat moves now. in. The enemy potentially has moved into the next room. Okay, fair enough. That's a good Overwatch trap. Let's see if they they seem to be moving. It would be fantastic if we could get a jump on them. If not, could you please do me the courtesy and die already? The suspense is killing me. Moving. On your order. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay, another attempt for a trap. We got our cooldown spec and we will breach soon.
Jessica moves over here. Energy signature directly ahead. This appears to be an alien transport device of some kind. Understood. Looks like we found our way out of here. Good. Next round, we're going to breach. They move. Digging in. Okay, they are straight ahead. Another chance for a fantastic kill zone. Orders confirmed. On Moving up. What, what, what? Covering fire? Okay, you know what? We're going to conceal. That way they can do jack shit about us. And they do have tactical analysis running. So they can only move or fire, because it's not in range. It's not in range, and we're going to beat them within on their own game or within their own game. Move into position. Words moves over, and we're nicely going to go for an overwatch. Boy, oh boy, gotta hand it to him, he takes a lot of uh, fire without going down. Good, we're going for cereal. And let's kill this guy. Reset, and that's fantastic. Saturation fire is exactly what we need right now to get rid of all of their overwatches. What do they say? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Think. Yeah, I think we can di dish out enough damage. Overdrive. Free reload, right? Yeah. Okay. Come on. I can admit when I've made a mistake. My weapon is nearly depleted. Good. Frodo continues to move in. It's a pretty healthy pack. Yeah, I didn't get it. That was highly unfortunate. Because it forces us to use a little bit heavier attack now. Didn't want to use the grenade. Grenade. 
but I also don't want to take damage. So basically both of the grenades are gone. Two, four, six, eight, nine can be a kill. The other two still need damage. Eighty-eight percent, you know. Hmm. I hate to do it, but we're going to use one advanced teamwork. Using one hail of bullets here. Hundred percent hit and marks the target. Fantastic. Another kill. Enemies down. And we're marking this target as well. And that's one of the situations where you want hail of bullet is burning. I am always surprised about the type of enemy composition that we're seeing. <clears throat> Not so much because of, of their kind of thematical appropriateness. I don't know why four Archons would be kind of hanging together as a gang. Uh, it may or may not be the case. What surprises me is what the author of the mod uh, was thinking in terms of just go, go, average go. hit points. These guys all had two armor, 30 hit points. So we're looking at 120 uh, hit points and overall Moving eight out. armor. With a normal six person team, that's just a lot of uh, wood to chop through, to be honest. And I'm wondering why that is. Like, why would you build a team uh, like that more hit points are not automatically more challenging maybe they didn't want uh, the alpha striking nature who knows it's just you're forced uh, with Ready to some of the enemy packs sorry with some of the enemy packs to essentially go all out to go. with your Open skills and, and then wait a wait a while until everything reloads. Yeah. Not the biggest fan of uh, the pot compositions in the end game well so done, far, but See maybe I'm. I have maybe I have not seen enough. Okay, and uh, we are here for the grand finale. <clears throat> We're in the belly of the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with a lot of hit points. It's more, I disagree with the approach that Long War is using in this mod, is using to a degree as well, which is just put a lot of defense uh, values onto the enemy and hope that you can no longer alpha strike them, because that just encourages stupid play. And you've seen in the last mission with the Sector Pod Prime just how stupid the enemies become once you take them over. And if the balance is like that far off, well, then something is wrong. Anyways, um, the idea here yet again is we want to conserve most of our cooldowns. Going up. That's potentially going to trigger the enemy. Okay. We are pulling in, and let's pull one of these guys. The Elite Assault is a fantastic option. Didn't work as intended. And Saturation Fire hopefully removes some of the cover. Getting a lot of mileage out of that Saturation Fire.
good. So if we were to position ourselves like here, I'm on it. that gives us access to both of them. Hitting the priest first. Doing the same here. Hail of Bullets is great. I absolutely love it. Shotgun into full cover from range. Not a problem. But we gotta wait for cooldowns to refresh anyways. Might as well use rapid fire. And of course, the guy survives. Can we move? What the heck is going on? Okay, apparently the mech cannot move. Meanwhile, we are being mind controlled. Fantastic. Jessica finishes them off. And we're using death from above for reload. Let me fix that real quick. All right, we got it unstuck. Ah, the open spaces, the fresh air. Moving up. We're going to sacrifice the loot because I don't want to trigger the chosen yet. Much rather do that with all of the cooldowns available. Good. Reloading wherever possible. Let's rock. I must reload. Good. And our idea is killing time. One, Scanning. two, three, and four. So we got overdrive. I want saturation fire just in case. The more important part is hail of bullets if needed, but the very important part is chain shot and rapid shot, both of which are, uh, both of them are available. So if my memory serves me well, this here does Moving not trigger. Location. Good. Let's put stop, the guys that stop, are going to stay stop. up here, really up here. Um, which will be, uh, we're not going to put him up here. As you command. I would like to position down here. Ah, that already triggered. Okay, well, not the end of the world. You're not supposed to be here. Not the end of the world. It could have been a bit better. No matter what happens today, only one side is leaving this place alive. Finally. You. Evasive, significant bonus to dodge, but that goes down. Uh, tries to kill, summons priests, immune to explosions, and will uh, heal from damages to nearby uh, enemies and allies. So the moment he deals damage, he also heals. We're going to pull ourselves over to there. I'm going 
Move it down here. Let's start to very much uh, shred him. He's down to almost no armor. How can we shred him further? Moving over. I think we can't shred him further unless we're using explosives, which we do not have any left over. Quite unfortunate. If we were to attack him, that's 9 to 10, and we would get a Blade Storm attack off of him. seeing any crit immunity from uh, his side he seems to be just very much critical on your order good moving up sixty percent is not good enough for me we're taking the hundred percent hail of bullet shot see him from up here which is unfortunate but we can see him from okay. up here I want to save the dual strike for later I still hit advanced teamwork Yeah, and I think we're just going to jump down and use the katana. That weapon didn't do my kid any good. What makes you think it'll be different for you? If we shoot him, he will uh, trigger the um, katana attack. And that will kill him, which will give us an entire turn of um, killing the sarcophagus. So that was indeed uh, planned to kill him during his turn. That way we can now completely unload on the sarcophagus. The problem is he started with prelate, which is two summonings. Doctor, the device appears to be some sort of psionic capacitor. Transferring tremendous amounts of psionic energy directly to the chosen, restoring them. No Thankfully, the katana die. just is so unbelievably good. We don't have overdrive. That is a shame. And for now, Moving to position. let's really focus on making sure that we get the sarcophagus down while striking. hit and a really solid hit I'm on a roll. 
So two, four, six, eight, nine. Let's kill. Oh, that. Good to know. Uh, Serial is being countered by that stupid ability. Still got time for the sarcophagus. I'm almost out of ammo. Starting to hit it, and we're hitting it often. And over of teamwork. Then let's go with chain shot. Miss the target. Good. Enemies are coming in for the first time. can mostly ignore them. They won't deal enough damage to become a real problem. Stasis, on the other hand, was the only thing that I didn't want. Okay, so do we have No, nah, we don't. Someone needs to break the Overwatch. These hands were a bit clumsy. Free reload. I do have an idea. Frostbite is free action. Oh, it was a good idea before we messed it up. Well, strike unfortunately only works on these guys. Can I rapid fire the sarcophagus? Yes, I can. And that is exactly what we're going to do. down then our plan here is advanced teamwork into I'm not sure if we're, we can really f uh, really freely uh, reload I think we're almost out of turns Interesting. Uh, I did forget that they did have cover fire. Really just want to remove their overwatch. Good, and this one here should uh, destroy the sarcophagus. Mission achieved, or 
target uh, successfully destroyed. The capacitor indicate it has become highly unstable. Then let's target that chosen with everything we've got. Well, what we could do is uh, double shot doesn't work. We're one off, one short. We could flank it here, but when the guy is in open, uh, we would be in open cover. The other option is to effectively move up here into high ground and try to hit and try to hit uh, that Archon. Let's position ourselves here. That is full cover, just in case the just in case the captain decides to do something about it. This here is out of line of sight. And that's a kill. Unless of course it dodges. Might still be a kill because it's burning. Seems to completely ignore the burning. Looks like you rolled the dice and lost this time. Now that Good, we're reloading. Archon dies. That's affirmative. This here will trigger Blade Storm if he moves, and this should very much be the good old shotgun to the face. You guys know how I feel about it. Never ceases to it amaze. And guess what? We do have hail of bullets <laughs> so that we can even shoot from the other side of the room. Moving over right here. Breading. Shred him good. Shred him real good. Marking him. Rupture would have been a fantastic option. Good, we're reloading. Ninety-six percent or seventy percent. I think we're just taking the dual strike here. That's a great hit. Not a bad shot, considering the shooter. And another hit. Fantastic. Good. And look at that. 100%. Right across the entire battlefield. He's burning. Most of my targets never get a chance to shoot back. Utilizing hook. Thanks to our grappling hope we can easily get over here and how fitting the protagonist of this run our skirmisher is finishing him off yeah that was overall an, a good fight the sarcophagus uh, destruction worked very well team performed really good um, 
the Archon here was a bit harder to deal with. We couldn't destroy the sarcophagus and deal with the massive hit points that were uh, that were coming on top of it. So yeah, that's why we took a bit of damage. Good. Typically, the situation where you are completely focusing on the sarcophagus is where you would normally drop a mimic beacon and buy yourself like that one round. But yeah, we don't have any crowd control really except the frost grenade but it's not the end of the world i mean we're slightly injured at best the team performed really really well overall and we got ourselves the dark lance and the dark claw i like the dark claw as well and i'm considering if we had enough aim on our sniper the dark claw would make sense we could take a different a different ammunition Maybe freeing up AP rounds for the shotgun. It's a bit unorthodox, so to speak, because typically the shotgun wants tailing rounds for massive crits. But yeah, if, if we had the Dark Claw, that could be an option. On the other hand, we don't have Fanfire and we don't have Quick Draw and we don't have Lightning Hands, so really doesn't make that much sense because if you run with a pistol uh, with a pistol build you want to get like those four or five shots around including face off good we're finishing modular sniper rifles and then we're off to research the chosen weapons but boy boy two down one to go and that one will be a, a heavy or a hard nut, a nut to crack. The, death the warlock. Of my siblings will do nothing to deter my advance. My loyalty to the elders is Another supply raid would be a great what? option, so we're going to scan for that. Supply raids will give Valerium and Alois. That's exactly what we need. And of course, it'll provide experience. But before that even happens, we got uh, quite a few options here. Neutralize field commander with three soldiers. Okay. Well, that's an almost own admin only type of uh, mission. Chrysalid King. Okay. That sounds like fun. And it would finally um, remove collateral damage. Yeah, and protect the device. Sounds like the exact opposite of fun. It sounds like anti-fun. No, I think we're going to go for this one here. Collateral damage. That's a good dark event. The supplies are fine as well. And quite frankly, I like the chrysalid. I was uh, toying with the idea of the Hive mod, uh, is which is a command. fantastic mod. But that will potentially happen in our next campaign. Good. One Dark Lance, one Dark Claw, four days. I will make that our Great. Priority. Good. It's kind of the end of today's episode. Let's take a look ship, where we stand. Two screen protocol still I'm takes a few days. That'll give us uh, the MP um, weapons and then hopefully the other heavy weapon. In terms of resistance ring, we are... Oh yeah, recruiting another skirmisher. That's great. And then afterwards we're infiltrating the stronghold. That's good, so we would be ready to go for the Warlock as well. Defense Matrix is almost done. Yeah, I'm hoping that we would get a few more cores. Because uh, the quality of this run kind of depends on the amount of uh, cores that we're getting, and we're a bit short here. I would like to use uh, the Flamethrowers, but that requires uh, experimental powered weapons. I would like to use another spark, but that and, and war suits and wrath suits, but that also requires, yeah, just more investment. So that's really the the crux of that entire run. In I terms of special items, did I miss anything that we haven't showcased? 
So battle scanners, flashbang, grenades, smoke bombs, they were reasonably successful actually. Sustenance sphere definitely. Uh, let's just build another one. Can't have enough of those. Uh, now that we're using them and that we're actually getting our asses kicked. We got a proximity mine, yep, that worked uh, well. So that one uh, worked uh, well also. And even the refraction field we used, albeit to not a really great extent. With uh, sufficient Ilarium and Alloys, we would finally uh, get the Shadow Lance and potentially the Fusion Blades. Then it's only the Psy Amp and quite frankly we don't need that. So we would be okay with all of those upgrades. The other remaining upgrades here would be better aim for uh, via over uh, overboard shots. That's not bad. I like it. This one is okay. And that's okay as well. So all three aren't bad either. Not game breaking, but certainly a nice upgrade. We're getting enough income next uh, next month to potentially get most of that stuff. In terms of upgrades, the rest here is mainly upgraded. So what we can really start doing afterwards is focusing on the Shadow Chamber and uh, g uh, getting the Golden Path missions going. But um, in order, I think um, one of the next items on our agenda once the team is back in action is to go for the Archon uh, King, release him because I want the Icarus suit and then essentially the Warlock to, so, um, to get rid of uh, him as well. And then we can focus completely on the Golden Path missions. So that's uh, the outlook for the next, I would say, 15, 20 ish missions. Hope uh, you guys enjoy the run so far. If you do, if you like the choose to lose uh, aspect, if you like a better advent, leave those comments down below and let me know what you thought about the performance of the Hunter today. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.